Tracy Martin. Hold on, Mr Chair. Thank you. Um, I know why the members of the government benches may be shouting out but not actually commenting on this bill. It's because Mr McIndoe is the only member of the government benches who actually heard any of the submitters, and even Mr McIndoe cannot stand to his feet and articulate why these changes need to take place. And that's very unfortunate because Mr McIndoe is usually a very constructive individual. Mr McIndoe is highly respected here, but he still, even he, cannot rise to his feet and explain why these changes, particularly, and I again challenge the Minister, to rise to her feet and uh, explain why we need the removal of natural justice for our teachers. Why in this profession, and there is laughter from the new members of this government. Now that tells you a lot, New Zealand. That tells you a lot that when the, when the discussion around natural justice is talked about and the removal of it is discussed with regard to you with regard to New Zealanders and professionals in the New Zealand environment, new members of this government laugh. They laugh in your face. And the minister unfortunately just joins them. So again, I ask. Now let's just talk. I just want to read from an article, Mr. Chair. There was a ministerial inquiry, inquiry in 2011 into how convicted sex offender. Do you want to keep talking, Mr. Bridges, around about convicted sex offenders? Convicted sex offender Torito Henry Miki managed to get back into the teacher roles because this is why the department said we needed a code of conduct. This case onto the teacher's role. Apparently he did so simply by changing his name. Reportedly he had 53 aliases and then used that new identity to get fresh documentation. Mr Bridges, the minister over there, makes light of this case, even in the light of the case we've just had repeated. So then it was relevant to the code of conduct when it was put forward by the, minister, by the ministry. It's relevant now, Mr Bridges. But Mr Bridges hasn't read the bill or the regulatory impact statement or the report on what is one of the most major takeovers of the educational institution in this country. Apparently he did so by changing his names, he had 53 aliases, and then used a new identity to get fresh documentation and a teaching job. It makes grim reading in the light of the subsequent ability of Smith Trainer, also a sex offender, to get away with the much the same thing, largely because the recommendations made in 2011 to Education Minister Hekia Parata were evidently not acted upon. Were evidently not acted upon. But now we have a code of conduct for a teaching profession that doesn't cover edu educators, it only covers registered teachers. And we have a widening of the criteria for LATS, limited authorities to teach. So unlike what we have currently, where a school must prove that it has tried to fill that role with a qualified and registered teacher but cannot do so, and therefore applies for a limited authority to teach to have a skilled individual come into their school, and 62% of them are music teachers. We're not having that anymore under this bill. An individual can front up to educans, say, look, I've got a skill, I've got a skill. No, I'm not, I haven't gone through any teaching qualification or whatever, but I've got a skill, and I'd like to wander about the country and offer my services to, I don't know, rural schools who might be hard up for teaching staff or something. And how do we, is that, was that part of the recommendation that came out in 2011, Minister? Was that part of the recommendation to tighten up the system? 2012, 2012 I take, I do apologise. The recommendations of 2012, Minister, that apparently have never been enacted, or is this it? Because this is what the department said it was about, and if it's not about that, then what is it about, Minister? Rise to your feet and answer the question. What is it about? And why do we have to remove the laws of natural justice for teachers? When did that become, and why was that very, that really important clause not brought to select committee? When did this government decide to remove natural justice from teachers when we had that long process, huge numbers of submissions, we discussed it and discussed it and discussed this bill, and that topic never came up? Never, ever, ever came up. 
but now suddenly it's desperately needed inside a supplementary order paper in this bill. Will the minister answer for it? No, she won't.